Hey, my babas. Oh. Oh. Good morning. Good morning. What do you smell? Mama put lotion on her legs. <laughs> what? Are you looking at me? You're so cute. I love you. I love you. I love you. Good morning, guys, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 22. That's crazy. There's three days until Christmas, guys. What? Well, when you're watching this, there's two days until Christmas. Literally, when you're watching this, tomorrow is Christmas Eve. What? Anyways, it's currently about 10 right now. I got up at around 9, like I've been for the last, like, week. And I had a shower, as you guys can tell, and I'm smelling super good because I used this lotion from Bath & Body Works that I am officially putting on my legs every morning I have a shower because this smells delectable. It is the Aromatherapy um, Recharge Sage and Mint Moisturizing Body Cream. Oh, smells so good and I don't know what it is. And then I also have like it in the body wash too so I can probably put that in my shower and like smell like it always. Oh, it smells so good. Anyways, I am heading downstairs. I am quickly going to edit the vlog from yesterday. Also, I did open these stickers already. I couldn't wait and I was waiting for Penny and my camera was upstairs so I'm like, okay. I'm just gonna take this one day to open the stickers by myself, but I will show you guys right now because they're really, really cute. But I'm gonna be out of breath by the time I get down there. Oh, we're almost there, guys, almost there. I really, really like the sheet that is in the Murdoch Talks one this time because it's so cute and very unique and something that like a lot of people have asked for from me. But the first, the multi shop, we got some Once More With Love stickers. So cute, little munchkins. I actually have never purchased anything from Once More With Love. Fun fact, I know. Surprising, I'm pretty sure everyone has. And then we got some Simply Gilded washi, which is just some blue washi with some, I think it's silver or it might be holographic. I'm not really sure, but it's just like polka dots. It's super cute. And then for the Murdoch Talks one, we got these stickers here, which are the cutest things in the entire world, especially the little straighteners and blow dryers. So many people have asked me for like straighteners and blow dryers. So if you are looking for like hairdresser, hair styling stickers, go look for Murdoch Talks. I don't know if she's going to have this specific sheet in her shop, but she might have like the um, straighteners and blowing, blowing irons, blow dryers, Jenna, blow dryers, if that's what they're called. But anyways, yes, I'm going to head upstairs. Oh, I actually need to get my laptop, so it's a good thing that I came down here. Also, I don't have any... Ooh, that was not good. I don't have any ugh, milk for coffee, so I don't know what I'm really going to do. Um, I do want to get some Starbucks today because I am going out with Haley. But I think I'm just going to make myself like a chai tea latte or something because those I don't really need milk. So I think I might do that. But anyways, I'm going to edit the vlog and I will see you guys later. Also, before I forget, we need to do this. Vlogmas day 22. Whoop, whoop. Literally three more days. Oh my goodness. Hey guys, so it's been a bit since I talked to you last, but I got my video up, which is awesome. It's actually like two o'clock right now. So it's pretty late, but I was having some issues with like, exporting or like importing my footage from my camera to my computer for some reason it was being a pain in the butt and I was getting very angry but finally got it all settled got that um edited uploaded it's all good now um I got ready while it was uploading so I did my makeup which is a very I did like Kat Von D it's a little bit more smoky which I really like and Kat Von D eyeshadows are literally like my favorite. And then I actually don't think I put any blush on, but I put some contour, highlight. I still need to put a lip on, but I'll wait until later. And then I just straightened my hair, obviously, from when I had a shower this morning. I have just a black shirt on with like lace at the bottom. It's super cute. And then these are some new jeans that I bought 
from American Eagle when I went shopping the other day and they were buy one get one half off so I got these ones and I also got a pair of burgundy ones which if you guys remember my closet clean out video I believe it was in vlogmas um, I got rid of a pair of burgundy jeans and they were like my favorite things ever but they were too big which is awesome and I got these guys instead and they are a size down from when I was before so I'm very happy with myself I went from a size 8 to a size 6 Ooh. But anyways, I am running a little bit late. I told Haley I'd be there around 2 or 3, so it is about 2 right now. So I'm going to leave now, go pick her up. We're going to go to the mall. I need to go to Sephora, like I said. I also need to go to like a HomeSense or even like a Walmart, just somewhere to get um, bags, like Christmas bags. And I think that is pretty much all I need to get. And I'm considering maybe getting a new phone. We'll see. But I think I talked to you guys about this before how I want the iPhone 8, but anyways, I'll see you guys Um, later. I was gonna say let's just go through this, but. Hell no, you see my bird? I was, yeah. Someone wore Birkenstocks in December. Haley Gamble. Loser. But yeah, we are at the mall right now, guys. And it literally took me an hour to get to Haley's house because the traffic is so bad because it's almost Christmas and everyone is last minute. Are you buying like for Penny? Me. First stop, Starbucks. Yes. My lovely spread of tacos. And Haley. Taco. We are finished at the mall. I actually don't think I got any footage in the mall. We literally just went to Sephora. Please don't hit us, dude. Thank you. You're focused on your camera. But not <laughs> when you're not looking where you're going. So now we are at my favorite place in the world. Home sense. All I need is Christmas wrapping. But she's gonna walk but out I'll more. They get more. <laughs> I want this ginormous cookie cutter. It's so cute. Like me? No, not you. Life is beautiful. Hey guys. So we are now home, and we are currently in like my studio area. And when I went through my closet the last time, um, I think I actually mentioned this in this vlog, but I had a bunch of clothes that my mom has went through. My sisters haven't went through it yet. So Haley, you're very lucky right now. I know. That I'm letting you. Oh, are you trying on that romper? Yeah. It's too small. Try to put your try to put your arms up. Yeah. Didn't think so. I can't I even fit to. into it. I know. I know. <laughs> That's what happens. <laughs> I did not want to see that. <laughs> Anyways, um, I quickly wanted to show you guys what I ended up getting with that gift card that Shannon gave me. Stop! As you guys can see, we got some amazing swatches on my arms. And I ended up getting this palette, which is the new Too Faced Chocolate Gold palette. Like, it's, it's very shiny. But, like, the case is gorgeous freaking gorgeous and the shadows are actually super nice so I'm happy that I got that and we literally walked around Sephora for like a good half an hour me trying to figure out what I wanted and this was one of the first things I'm like Ugh, I really want that but I don't really need it I figured because it was a present I could just spoil myself and get it because it's not a need but it was a want so I got that so while I am waiting for Haley to go through all these clothes that I'm, I'm letting her go through, and she's taking forever, Love you. trying on everything, um, I also got a few other things from Sephora, but I can't show you guys because some of it's for my sister. Um, I got a few more things for Penny from PetSmart that I can't show you guys. I got the bags and stuff, which there were some slim pickings of bags. We went to HomeSense. There was nothing left. We went to excuse me, Dollarama, and that's where I found some, but like it was hard to find some. And I also got a few things for Penny at HomeSense too, so I think I'm officially done Christmas shopping. Woo woo! What is up? I am now back from, I just said what is up again, and I feel like that's like my thing. I feel like I need to keep on saying it because I just always say it and it's just, 
It's my slogan. Hey guys, what's up? What is up? It's not what's up. What is up? Hey guys, what is up? I just got back from dropping Haley off at her house and I actually need to text her because I told her I would text her when I got home. So anyways, like I said, I just got home and awesome thing when I went to pick up Haley and then we came back here, I checked my mailbox and I was really, really stressed. I think I mentioned this in yesterday's vlog, but I was really stressed because a part of my brother's present still hadn't arrived and a part of my sister Jessica's present hadn't arrived and I was super stressed because today was the last day for them to come in the mail before Christmas on Monday. Obviously the mail won't be running on Monday and I would have already been late if it came on Monday, but anyways, they both came in the mail today, which is amazing. So I really wanted to show you guys my brother's shirt because I think it's the funniest thing if, I don't know if you guys will understand, but if my brother is watching this or if my parents are watching it while my brother is around, don't let him see what the t-shirt is because I really want this to be surprised because I think he's going to love it. I got this from an Etsy shop. I forget what the shop's name was, but I will link it down below. They have some pretty awesome t-shirts and a lot of like really customizable t-shirts. So basically the story is my brother does have two cars. He's a very big car guy. He has two Subarus and he's in this like big Subaru group and they're like really into their Subarus. Like Subaru is life. And then apparently Mitsubishi is like the arch nemesis of Subaru. So this t-shirt is super funny because it is a Pac-Man with the Subaru logo going after three Mitsubishi logos. I just think this is the funniest t-shirt ever. If you guys know my brother, he's really into his cars. So I think you'll like that. I also got my like brother-in-law's t-shirts that say very customized things to them as well. So I'm really excited for them to get those. I would have got my dad something too, but I already got my dad all of his gifts. So yeah, if I got my dad a t-shirt, I would have had to go and get my mom something. So I just stopped there. Maybe I'll get my dad a funny t-shirt next year, but got that. I also got the thing that I ordered for my sister, which she's not allowed to see because she's a snoop and she'll probably continue watching it even though I told her not to. So yeah, I got that. Um, I have all of my sister's stuff over here. I got some bags from the dollar store that I wanted to show you guys because I think they're the cutest things. I also got this box, which I found this like in an aisle that was not Christmas. So I guess someone like put it not in the right spot and they like decided they didn't want it. But this is going to be for Jessica's second gift. Alicia already has a bag but Jessica's is gonna be a box. And I just think this is so cute because it's like Santa's belt and it like closes. I'll probably ask for this back because honestly I could just use this as a decoration if I really wanted to. But I think it was like $3, so that's good. This is gonna be for Jessica's second gift and then Jessica and Alicia are both gonna get these bags. Look at, it's Penny. Literally, it looks like Penny when she's fluffy. And these were literally like the only bags at the dollar store left. They have these ones and a few other different types of dogs. And like even the handles are like all fluffy. So my sisters are getting the same thing. So they have the same bags and I just think they're so cute. And I'm so excited for them to get these. I will be giving them these on Christmas Eve when we go to my grandparents' house. Um, Jessica's probably already gonna know what this is because she's a Snoopy McGee. And then I also wanted to quickly show you guys when Haley and I went to HomeSense to try to find bags, they didn't have any left, um, but I also got some stuff for Penny, but I got something for myself, which can you guys already tell what it is? Probably, but guys, I gave in to the hype on the Ray Dunn mugs. I believe that's what it is. Yes, Ray Dunn may get hot in microwave. Dishwasher safe, thank you. So this one, there were a few different um, words, but I felt like this was a really good word for me and it is patience. And I think this might be like my word of 2018 is patience like patience with myself, patience with people. 
Um, and yeah, I just think that's a good word to kind of live by and just have patience. Things will work out if you wait, if you have patience, things will just be okay. So yeah, I got this, it was only $5.99. So I'm like, oh my goodness, I need to get that. There was patience, harmony, faith, and peace. And I felt like patience was a really good word. So anyways, I am going to watch a few YouTube videos on here. I have my laptop over here. I'm going to watch a few videos. I'm going to wrap the rest of these gifts. And after I'm finished this, I'm completely done. Obviously, I have like Petty's gifts to put out on like the couch on Christmas Eve. But that'll be it and I'll be finished. So I'm really excited about that. I don't think I'm going to get to designing anything tonight, unfortunately. But I'm giving myself all tomorrow and possibly a little bit of um, Christmas Eve morning. Because I really won't have that much to do that day. I do want to kind of tidy up my house and stuff before I go to my grandparents' house on Sunday night. Um, but yeah, I think I'll have a little bit of time on Sunday to design some more. And then I do have all next week and the week after that, I believe. I think it's not next Friday, but the weekend or the Friday after that I'm opening up again. And I really want to get lots of collections done and even some functional stickers designed and whatnot. So really, really excited for that. And I do have a lot of time. So I'm just going to relax, do this, and then I will probably talk to you guys a little bit later. I'm going to read through my comments as well and pick out a few questions to answer later. But... For now, I'll just be here finishing my gifts and watching some YouTube videos while I drink the second Starbucks of the night, which this is the toasted white chocolate mocha, which some people have told me in the comments to try that. Haley got it earlier today and later today as well. So clearly she really likes it. So I decided to try that. But anyways, I'm gonna stop yapping and I will see you guys a little bit later. Okay guys, so all of the presents are done and my Christmas tree is full of gifts. They really need to start making Christmas trees like higher off the ground. I feel like next year I need to put my Christmas tree on top of something because you can't fit all of these gifts under the tree. They have to be like beside it. So I have like all the bags over there, boxes and gifts. And then there's three more gifts over here, which I do still have to add the cards there to those gifts. Those are for my nephews and niece. Hello, Miss Penny. Is this Mr. Santa? Oh, and he's gone. Okay. Hey guys, so I'm really, really sorry, but there's not going to be any pillow talk with Jenna tonight. My camera is just about to die, and I completely forgot that I did not charge my other battery. So, yeah. Hopefully this doesn't die, but I quickly wanted to end the vlog. I'm going to answer a few questions. Hopefully my camera doesn't die. If it does, then this is going to be a really weird ending to my vlog. But a lot of people said that they really liked the name for the new collection called the Wholehearted Kit. And I think that's a really nice one because it's not really like has to be a person in a relationship. Like it could be wholeheartedly in love with yourself, wholeheartedly in love with your dog, just anything wholehearted. I think it's, I think it's a good name for it. So the wholehearted collection, I think that's what it's going to be called. Um, and I think there was one question that I really wanted to answer. Um, Audrey said, hi Jenna, loving your Vlogmas videos this year. What is your favorite part of Christmas dinner? And then she went on um, to say a few of her traditions as a single person. I'm not gonna read all of them, but thank you girl for all of those suggestions. I do feel like I can start making traditions as a single person, but definitely my favorite part of Christmas dinner would be the turkey. I am a huge turkey fan and it has to have gravy on it. I would say turkey, mashed potatoes and gravy, all of those together, like so good. And also the buns are my favorite and the dessert, dessert. I do not like stuffing, do not like cranberry sauce. Ew, 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 gross. The corn's okay. I don't know what you guys have for Christmas dinner, but definitely let me know down below your favorite thing about Christmas dinner. But I would say my top thing would be turkey and I like dark meat. I do not like light meat, not a huge fan. So. Dark meat, turkey, definitely my favorite. Um, Megan said, what is your happiest memory of 2017? That's a very good question. And I 
honestly think my favorite memory is going to the Toronto, oh no, I'm sorry guys. Hey guys, so it's me the next day and I quickly wanted to end the vlog because I know my battery died yesterday and I was just about to say my answer to the one question, what was, what was my favorite um, memory of 2017? And I actually took some time after because originally I was going to say when Shannon, Cassie and I went to the Toronto Christmas market, which was like seriously the most amazing thing. And after November, which was a really, really crazy month for me, I really enjoyed just having some downtime with some friends, we went shopping, we went to the Christmas market, we went and saw Grease Live. It was just so, so amazing and I loved that day. So that was definitely one of my favorite days. But then I also really, really um, thought about it and back to like earlier this year and stuff. And I think one of the highlights of my year was definitely when I got called out from the judges at one of my dance competitions. They asked me to come up and um, they asked me if I was going professional as a professional dancer and I said no and they said I should and that um, they asked me if I choreographed my solo myself and I said yes and they said it was amazing and it was just a really good kind of ending to like me as a competition dancer because if you do not know I'm not doing competitions this year and I'm so sad. Like I've grown up just knowing that and that being like the norm. I'm still going to dance, obviously I just got home today, but um, it just, it doesn't feel the same and I'm still taking classes, but like it's so sad that I won't have to like go to competitions and I just loved it. So that was probably my, probably my um, greatest memory of 2017. Um, so yeah, competition being called out and definitely my excursion or adventure to the Christmas market with Shannon and Cass. So anyways, yeah, I just wanted to end the vlog um, and I'm sorry that my camera died. I was so sad. I don't know if it caught the ending, but I'm like, oh no, sorry guys. So yeah, I'm really, really sorry about that guys. Um, that has not happened once this year or this vlogmas. So really good that it's only happened once, but yeah. I will see you guys in tomorrow's vlog, which is actually the one that I'm in right now. This is me from the future. Okay, bye. Stars in the sky are shining, flashing so bright like lightning. Feeling that it's finally here. It's that time of year.